Hello everybody, hello designers. In this video I want to show you how to easily and quickly create seamless repeat patterns in Affinity Designers. As you know this is um, a much cheaper alternative to Illustrator and it's also I would say uh, much easier to use. Um, so I hope this video helps you because that really uh, improved my skill of creating seamless repeat patterns. Um, if you stay until the end of this video, I will explain you how to get those beautiful uh, clip art that you could see here and uh, used in this illustration. So you can not just watch and, um, and learn from me today, but you can also uh, download them free of charge and uh, create this repeat pattern for yourself and practice your new skill. Let's start from zero. So you would, I use the iPad. Pro uh, for my illustrations and I feel that it's probably the best tool out there uh, to do so. I already have Affinity Designer application on it and um, you see this is my current collection and this is the pattern that um, we're trying to replicate. So first what you need to do is to create a new um, document for the new illustration. So you would just press plus here at the right uh, hand side in the corner and you press new select new document so uh, uh, over here you will be able to um, set width and the height of the illustration I usually use 1000 uh, by 1000 but um, you can choose whatever your requirements is I would say if you're not uh, you know doing this professional just go with one thousand by one thousand and just choose 300 dpi um, as well okay so then you can press ok and then your new document will appear on the screen okay so now i've already created the background for this illustration on all of the and all other clip arts that i need in a different um, application i prefer to do it in adobe fresco also here on ipad pro if you want to um, if you want me to show you how i do that please uh, leave me a message and i will and I will uh, make a separate video. Here I just want to show you how to create a seamless repeat pattern, just that. Okay, so let me press over here and I uh, press place image and I will create a background. So let me see, I've already saved it over here and I think we're using that um, very pale beige uh, background. So here is the background, right? Okay, so now I have to bring into this um, application all of the clip parts. Okay, so I press here on the document again and I place image. Those clip parts already saved on my, uh, in my files. So here are the illustrations I'm using. Okay, so I am going to, um, let's say, I'm going to use this one, okay? So this is the first clip part over here. All right, so the rule of seamless repeat pattern is that if anything touches the edge, like here the illustration, have to be replicated on the right hand side and also at the bottom. Okay, so for example, this application is, uh, sorry, this clip art is right in the corner. So I have to replicate it on the right hand side and also both of this at the bottom. So let's let me show you how to do that easily. Precision is very important because um, once you start tiling that ready application going forward, it's very important that all of the edges are precisely copied um, on, in all of the in, on all of the sides. And I can explain you how to do in in this program. So all you need to do. So let me see. Okay, here in the layers. Um, you have to select the current layer with one flower and then you go and press here in three dots and press duplicate. So now you have exactly um, two similar clip art in your illustration. So now you choose the second one. You go over here, right? And here uh, you have a position for this illustration. So one position is X and the second position y is Y. Is being vertical position and x is being horizontal position right so let's try to move that to the right hand side so we will be moving it across the x 
a line horizontal position so all you need to do is press here and then you if you want to move it to the right you have to press plus remember when we set out the size of this illustration it was 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel so all you need to do is to add that number 1000 to the current position and press ok and as you can see uh, now uh, the illustration was moved in a such a way that once that illustration is then tiled together it will precisely match uh, on the right hand side as well right okay so what we're going to do now let's group those two applications so if you, if i group them you can see i can move them any way i want and it will then both of them will move simultaneously so let's see now how we can then move it to the bottom so again you have to select this group you have to press duplicate now you have exactly the same ones one underneath another S select the second one and now we will be moving that um, group of uh, clip arts to the bottom of this illustration so that would means we need to move it vertically so we will be moving around y um, y line and let's see I have to again add another 1000 I can never remember if I add yeah add or bottom if I if if you need to move it from the bottom to the up you will be pressing here and you will have to subtract subtract a thousand but because I need to move it from higher position to the lower I'm adding 1000 right okay so let me group this again um, and you can see now I can easily move all of them together so this is pretty much easy uh, let me just um, add another place another illustration let's just add another iris over here so it looks more like a repeat pattern okay maybe let's add another one maybe this one okay maybe over here it's probably no not going to be a precisely a beautiful and an absolute match of what i've done but um, you know with a little bit of a um, time there you should be able to to do exactly the same okay let me move iris this iris a little bit okay maybe move this one just Here is an, another tip for you. If you want to cross-check if this um, if that works all, all right, um, I prefer to do that in Procreate. So I just go into my Procreate. Uh, let's go find Procreate. It's over here. Sorry, it's the wrong one. Okay. Um, I'm just going over here and I create a new document, which is a square document. And I'm going to insert um, my illustration over here I'm just using the the one that I've created before right so all you need to do again is to try to duplicate it and then move it across over here let's see it works absolutely fine so the flower is seamlessly connected on the right hand side and on the bottom as well and then let's check the the full bottom line now so I'm just going to group those two okay so let's see okay it works great as well so this is uh, how how you can easily create a seamless repeat pattern using uh, cheaper uh, applications such as affinity designer which i absolutely love and then you can use procreate to cross check if um, it works correctly now let me show you how to download the clip part that i promised you in the beginning of the video all you have to do is to check and look for the link in the description below and then that link will direct you to my landing page which i already created all you then need to do is to press enter your email address and press download clipart button that that's all what it takes 
Trust me, I'm not uh, going to use your email to spam you on a daily basis. This is not the intention by any means. Um, you can unsubscribe at any time. My aim is to encourage people who love to create, love design and love art. And so I decided to encourage you even further. If you join my mailing list today, I will be giving away a beautiful um, custom repeat pattern that you can use in Procreate. It is specifically designed to download in 10 seconds into Procreate. These colors, by, by the way, they were used to create uh, the repeat pattern that uh, we, we created together today. So I think that's a nice uh, thing to have in your pocket. And um, hey, um, let's keep in touch and good luck. I hope you um, are <laughs> Um, achieving something by watching my uh, videos. I really love doing that. I really love sharing that creativity is not something that people, regular people cannot do. In fact, it's it's just um, a little bit extra work, a little bit something that um, you perhaps didn't know how to. But once you know, creativity is actually something easy. So I wish you good luck. Um, send me an email if you have an idea of any further contact. I, will do, I would love to hear from you. And thank you.